As soon as the aircraft is electrically powered, the CVR runs automatically for 5 minutes, then shuts off until first engine start. As part of the pre-fly check, the CVR test is done as follows. To make sure the CVR is powered, switch the ground control push button to on. Make sure that the parking brake is set to on. Test the CVR by pressing and holding the CVR test push button. Once a tone is heard, the CVR test push button can be released. As soon as the first engine runs, the CVR reverts to the auto mode. In this mode, it will operate continuously for the remainder of the flight, and will stop 5 minutes after the last engine shutdown. Note, as the version of the installed ACP has no impact on its operation, so we will now use this ACP. To make a passenger address announcement, two methods are available. First, you can press and hold the PA transmission key while speaking into the boom set. The second method is to use the cockpit PA handset. Press and hold its PTT switch while speaking into its integral microphone. Let's use the RMPs. We will assume that you are the first officer. To communicate with ATC, you can tune the VHF-1 radio from the captain's side, but also from the first officer side. You can easily do so by selecting VHF-1 on RMP-2. Select VHF-1 on RMP-2. The cell light comes on on both RMPs. On RMP1 to indicate that VHF1 is selected on another RMP, and on RMP2, because VHF1 is not its dedicated radio. Note, depending on the version of installed RMP, the cell light can be white, or as now, amber. Now, you can tune the desired frequency in the standby window on RMP2. Select the standby frequency 126.00. Transfer the standby frequency to the active window. Observe that the active frequency changed on both RMPs. However, the standby frequency on RMP1 is unchanged, but the previous active frequency is displayed in the standby window of RMP2. This enables either pilot to change the active frequency on any radio and not change the standby frequency of the other pilot. Extinguish the selector light. Now, Let's use the ACP to establish the communication. The VHF-1 reception push button is released and comes on white. The volume is adjusted and VHF-1 transmission key is selected. You are now ready for a transmission and reception on VHF-1. To transmit on VHF-1, you can use the int radio switch held in radio position, or the side stick PTT switch, or the hand mic PTT. You can now continue with the cockpit preparation. So that the intercom is always available, the interphone reception knob should be released out and volume adjusted. We have done this for you. Let's now look at a call indication from the ground crew mechanic. You hear a buzzer and notice the amber mech light flashing on all the ACPs. The mech light is automatically cancelled after 60 seconds or when the reset push button is pressed on any ACP. To talk with the ground mechanic, you have two possibilities. Select the int position on the int radio switch or 
Press the int transmission key, then talk using a PTT switch. The int position gives a hot mic to talk to the other pilot and to the ground mechanic. Communication is made via the boom set without any other selection. Although we have not left the ground yet, the operations in flight are identical. You have completed the operation module.